a lot of people think of coolant as an afterthought, but marrying the right coolant with the right cutting tools, feeds and feeds, it can have a significant impact on your productivity and production. Hi everyone, Justin Geach here with Master Fluid Solutions. Uh, today I'm in Pensacola, Florida, visiting Adam Booth, also known as A-Bomb 79. Okay, Justin, so can you tell me, can you explain to me why coolant selection is important mm -hmm. and what kind of impact does the coolant that you use reflect sure. on your cutting tools? Yep. So in, in one of our previous videos, we kind of talked about the different kinds of coolant and how you have to marry it to your operations but a lot of shops have multiple operations, yes. right? So in your case, it looks like you're, you have indexable milling, turning, grooving, um, and solid carbide. So the, the challenge is to pick a coolant that's gonna work well in all those operations. So coolant, coolant plays a vital role in both lubricating the cutting tool, but also cooling. Right. So, you know, we talked about the coolant selection part of it and the different categories. So if you think of a full synthetic, which is very water clear, it's very good at cooling. Yeah. So water is a very good coolant. Yeah. Just from just from cooling heat away, then you add some lubricity in your synthetic. Whereas a, a full soluble oil has a lot more lubricity. It'll generate less heat, yeah. but it's not as good at the cooling side. Right. So the way coolant works is it interfaces with the cutting tool and part surface. So it affects surface finish. It affects tool life. Keeps the tools lubricated and cooled. Moves chips away. The corrosion control, there's a yeah. lot of functions. So coolant's one of those unique things that touches every operation, every part, every machine, and everything in your facility. So when you look at a coolant, you wanna pick one that, that covers the majority of what you're doing. So if you think of like a low speed operation, low surface footage, um, something like a brooch, or a large diameter tap, or something like yeah. that, you want a lot more lubricity because you're not as worried about heat generation. Right where if you're high speed turning, maybe a hardened steel part, you would typically lean towards more cooling. Yep. So when you look at coolant selection, you wanna pick the one that covers the majority of what you're doing. Um, some shops might run multiple coolants if they're like high production, yeah. where you'd have a specific fluid for grinding or specific fluid for broaching, um, but you still wanna find that one fluid that covers everything. That's really where coolant comes into play because it interacts with every single cutting tool in your operation. Yeah. And it's important to, to have coolant because you know it, 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 it provides multiple operations yeah. there for you. So it's keeping your cutters cool yep. from overheating. Yep. It's keeping your work pieces cool yep. from, from getting hot. Yep. You're lubricating the cut. That's yep. that's my understanding of coolant yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people think of coolant as an afterthought, but marrying the right coolant with the right cutting tools, feeds and feeds, it can have a significant impact on your productivity and production.